Hey, Mary Kennedy here from Kennedy Fan 5. Let's look at transformations of quadratic functions. This is a five question. Where's my hand? There it is. Five question on um, Google Forms assessment. This is the student view of the form. So they're going to look at this and this is a great time for them to really analyze what happened from the parent function to this G of X. You know, if they don't understand and they check them all, it'll let them check them all. And I like that. I think that that's a good assessment because it's saying, you know, it doesn't narrow it down. Oh, pick the three that you want to do. Um, but depending on my classroom, there may be very well be really good times when I want to say, choose the best three answers, you know. So that's where you can go into the back end, the teacher side of it and, um, you know, click in the question. And and so you can just click here and you can change your directions to whatever you want to say. Um, you may not even want to have all those choices. You have lots of options. And so you can just X these out if you end up purchasing mine. Thank you if you do that. I really, really appreciate it. Um, but if you make your own, just put in the number that you want to have. Um, usually I have um, answer choices shuffled, but there's a lot of answer choices here. And I'm not trying to just be super confusing. And I want to really assess, do you understand, not can you pick the right one out from this ever changing list of answers? So I did not choose shuffle option order. Um, if you look at my settings video, I'll put it somewhere up here. Um, usually I do like that's a very typical thing for me to do on these assessments. But for this one, I chose not to, if you wanted to shuffle it, then you could just, uh, you know, click on that and choose to do that. So let's see. Um, so they're all, they're all set up the same way. They're all set up as check boxes. And you'll see that I tried to take really good care to have, you know, roughly the same number of shifts left and right, up and down, um, stretches, compressions. And if you want to change that, you know, if you use a different terminology in your classroom, different vocabulary from your standards, that's fine. Even reflections. So I think three of the five are reflections over the X axis. Yep. And I used a fraction here and I used a decimal here. So just trying to, you know, show them lots of different ways. So, you know, one of the ways you could make it easier if you were making your own is that you could, you know, you, you wouldn't have to include all that, you know, if that's not practical for you. So I use the Equatio extension, which is free for classroom teachers. So you wouldn't have to buy it. It's just a Google Chrome extension. And um, that's how I do the all the little equations. You have lots of options for how you make your equations. So I'll just show you the rest of the form from the student side. All right. I hope that helps. And I'll see you later.